Many people pay for things with checks. What is a check? Mr. Baird is finishing a gardening job for Mrs. Menville. I didn't want to cut this back to She much. wants to pay him for his work. Will this be all right? Yeah, it looks just fine. Forty dollars, is that right? That'll be fine. Since cash can be lost or stolen, Mr. Baird is going to the bank where Mrs. Menville keeps her money. He wants to get cash for the check. Hi, I'd like to cash a check, please. Okay. Would you mind signing the back for me, please? Sure. Do you have any identification? Why is Mrs. Menville able to write a check that can be changed into cash? This is Mrs. Menville's bank. A bank is one of the places where people can safely keep their money. Mrs. Menville is putting money into her checking account. Banks and savings and loans are places where money can be held in checking accounts. Now she can pay people with checks instead of with cash. The person she pays can go to Mrs. Menville's bank and get cash for the check. This money is withdrawn or taken out of Mrs. Menville's checking account. Every time Mrs. Menville pays someone with a check, the amount of money or the balance in her checking account gets smaller. If Mrs. Menville wants to continue paying by check, she has to put more money into her checking account. Mrs. Menville will mail this check to Mr. Brown. Mailing checks saves her the trouble of going from place to place to pay her bills. This is Mr. Brown's bank. In most cities, there are many different banks. Instead of getting cash for Mrs. Menville's check, Mr. Brown is going to put the money into his own checking account. This is called making a deposit. Mr. Brown fills out a deposit slip and takes the slip and the check to a bank Teller. Thank you. Let's see what happens after Mrs. Menville's check is deposited. Mr. Brown has gone to his bank and deposited the check in his own account. His bank returns the check to Mrs. Menville's bank. 
Mrs. Menville's bank withdraws the money from her checking account and gives it to Mr. Brown's bank. This money is deposited in Mr. Brown's account so that he can use it to write checks of his own. Let's follow Mrs. Menville's check as it is returned to her bank. After Mr. Brown's bank closes, a worker records the amount of each check. The amount of Mrs. Menville's check, $75, is put on the bottom of the check with a special ink. Then the checks are sorted. The machine sorts thousands of checks a minute. Both the front and back of each check are photographed. Mrs. Menville's check goes into a pocket with other checks going to her bank. All the checks going to other banks are gathered into bundles and tied together. Then the bundles of checks are locked in a bag so that they can be carried safely. Each bag contains checks going to a different bank. The bags are taken from Mr. Brown's bank to a central place called a clearing house. The clearing house is a place where banks exchange checks. Messengers from Mrs. Menville's bank pick up the bag containing her check and take it back to her bank. In one night, Mrs. Menville's check has traveled from Mr. Brown's bank, through the clearing house, and finally has arrived at her bank. In Mrs. Menville's bank, the checks are sorted again. By reading the numbers printed at the bottom of the checks, the sorting machine sends information to a computer. The computer automatically subtracts the amount of each check from the correct checking account and also stores this information. And all of this occurs at the rate of thousands of checks a minute. Finally, all of Mrs. Menville's checks are sorted. At the end of the month, the computer prints out a statement for each checking account. This statement is a record of every check and deposit. Statements are fed into an automatic machine. The checks written that month are combined with the statements. Then statement and checks are stuffed into envelopes. They will be mailed to every person with a checking account. Mrs. Menville will keep her used or canceled checks as proof that she has paid her bills. She compares the balance on her monthly statement 
with the balance she has kept in her own records. Hi, can I help you? I'd like to make a deposit. People who keep money in checking accounts can write checks. The balance in an account gets larger when money is deposited and smaller when checks are written. Banks work together by exchanging checks. Automatic machines handle checks swiftly and accurately and keep track of the balance in each account. It is because of these machines that new kinds of banking are coming into use. Automatic tellers allow people to bank at any time of the day or night. By using a special plastic card, Mrs. Menville can deposit or withdraw from her account. Hello, thank you for calling the day and night telephone. By using her telephone, Mrs. Menville is able to contact a computer. She can instruct the computer to pay a bill for her without having to write a check herself. $100 because of their safety and convenience, checks are an important part of our lives. And because of computers and automatic machines, new kinds of checking and banking are being made available to us all.